Hello everyone and welcome to our Digital for Finance and Operation module wise training series. So in the previous episode we discuss about the attribute types and the attributes. So in this new episode we discuss about the item model group and item group. This both setup are is a to part of product information module but these are mandatory setups to create a product. So what is the item model group? Item model group is a very important setup which control the inventory evaluation or inventory costing process. Whether your inventory evaluation is a LIFO, FIFO, standard cost or weighted average, everything is based here. So whatever we set in the item model group, inventory costing is taking. So let's open the item model group. I click on the inventory management inside inventory management we have, we have setups inside setups under the inventory we have item model group so first we discuss upon the item model group let me create first item model group and explain I'll select weighted average ok so we have created item model group weighted average so in the every single parameter here have different purpose and the different scenario and all the scenarios and the parameter we will discuss in very detailed manner in our sales and marketing module in our future episodes. Do subscribe my channel and keep updated for the future episode. In this episode I will give you high level overview about this. If you don't understand any parameter for now don't worry in future episode we will discuss in detail. At the time of creating item model group you need to make sure that item model group name because once you created the item model group and assign this to any product and the, you perform the transaction for that product we can't delete the item model group or change the item model group name. So the first parameter in the item model group is a stock product. If I create a product and assign this item model group where the stock product is enabled then you can view the on hand inventory for the item in the system. So if this parameter is disabled then you can't see the on hand inventory for the item. So I want to see the on hand inventory for the item so I will make this enable. So the next is a inventory model which is very important parameter by choosing inventory model. Based on the inventory model our posting and the inventory valuation is followed. Here the first five FIFO, LIFO, LIFO date and the weighted average which uses the weighted average cost which means that a FIFO, LIFO and LIFO date weighted average requires the inventory relation process during the period closing or the month end. For the standard cost follows the cost from the item master and for the moving average also following the moving, moving average. For the moving average we don't require the inventory valuation process or the closing process. Inventory valuation is only required to the adjust the issue transaction and to understand the real cost which only required at the first 5 inventory model. Remember this for now. We will discuss all this FIFO, LIFO, LIFO date and the weighted average in our future episode. So for now I have selected the weighted average. Next is the cost price. Under the cost price we have include physical value and fixed receipt price. This is also important setup. Let's say include the physical value in the price group which means you are going to include the physical value here. Physical value means physical transaction. In ERP physical transaction means you post the transaction and generate the receipt and bring item inventory. In the simple way you created order, post the packing receipt but this order is not invoice yet but still you packing receipt posting will be considered in the weighted average calculation. Next important setup is a ledger integration. System post the financial posting for every physical transaction will only happen when the post physical inventory parameter is turned on. If this parameter is disabled then there is no accountability of the product which is received but not invoice yet. So I suggested you to not disable this parameter because this automation will help you in the inventory relation and the inventory closing. For post financial inventory if you are disable this means you disable the connection between the inventory sub ledger and the general ledger. So because of this never recommended to disable this also. Now we move to the inventory policies. First is a physical ne negative inventory. If I enable this I can 
issue the product and deliver the product to the customer even i don't have the product in my inventory in that case i inventory will be changed from 0 to minus 1 i am not highly recommended to enable this parameter but sometime you have scenario like you have not manufacturing the product but you know the manufacturing will be done next day then you go ahead and create a order that time enabling this parameter will help you in the financial negative inventor is default by enable let's take an example for the financial inventory you have one item which is purchased received successfully but not invoice yet and you create one sales order against that product and that sales order is also shipped and also invoiced but your actual purchase order is not invoiced yet this process is enabled only when your financial negative inventory is enabled but if the financial negative inventory is disabled then you need to invoice the purchase order first and then system will allow you to deliver the sales order so also there is a lot of parameter over here also like receiving requirement if you enable this you can't you can't invoice the purchase order without receipt item the same way deduction requirement deduction requirements you can't invoice the sales order without posting the packing slip for the register requirement means you need to register the product before receiving the product likewise for the picking requirement means you need to post the picking list before post the packing slip these two registration requirement and receiving requirement is related to the purchase process and the picking requirement and the deduction requirements are related to the sales process so that's it for the item model group let's we create the item group item group is categorized to the similar item which need to be posted for the specific or similar ledger account can be grouped together in one item group and assign this to the one item for the post the financials when you create one item group here you can see we have kind of audio once we save this audio item group you find the multiple options are enabled here first is related to the sales order second is purchase order third is inventory same like production setups and here you need to mention the main account for the GL account posting when I assign this item group to the item and sell that item to the customer through sales process there is a GL happening and the inventory reduces and the asset account will be credited but we need to assign the account in the system over here if the account is not set here the system will throw an error that account setup is not done so that two setup we have discussed here first is item model group and the item group so that's it for this video so we have done with our mandatory setup to create a product so in our next two episode we create one product and also create one product master so stay tuned for this thank you for watching